Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sync your reference tracks to various positions on the timeline. So typically when you start the sync, the default playback will be from bar one here. So let's start that. I've got the same track loaded in here and here as the reference. So when I click from A to B, you shouldn't hear a thing. So let's just play these four bars here. You can hear the guitar start at three. And there we go. Seamless. Okay, that's typically what we do. But say you want to start your reference track here. How do you do that? Well, simply move the playhead to start a bar two and press set. You'll see this little number comes up here to say how it's moved in terms of beats and ticks and stuff like that. So let's go now. Let's start here. Your cast now start there. Okay, that's great. But what happens in those particular situations where you need to start your track from before bar one? Say, let's call it bar zero here. Let's just move the playhead here. Let's start the track there then. Okay, so with our playhead back here, we press set again. You won't see anything turn up in the offset counter there, just because it's a negative offset. Unfortunately, we can't display the negative numbers, but it should start there. Let's see if it works. All right, we got it working. Should be able to jump anywhere in the track. Off we go. Okay, so all seems great so far, and it is, but I have to warn you that there is an edge case where it might be a little not so working well. Now, if we take a very short loop like this, the little problem arises that you will hear a little bit of silence as it loops around again. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, so apologies, it's not perfect. It's damn close. So I hope that's gonna work for you in the meantime. Um, you know, everything else should be okay. Jump around. Uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments. <laughs>